we are going backwards as a nation. Good evening. Picture a country going backwards where workers haven't had a decent pay rise in 15 years, public services are on the verge of collapse, and where the gap between rich and poor grows year on year. That is how Britain was described today in a bleak and damning assessment of its economy. The failure to achieve all but negligible growth has left the average worker a simply staggering £10,000 a year worse off, according to a leading think tank. And we're now lagging way behind countries we used to think of as equals. In Germany, middle-income households are full 20% richer than their peers in the UK. We'd be here all night if we listed the failings identified in the 290-page report. But put simply, in almost every sector, the UK is just not productive enough. And if there's any hope of turning the ship around... The authors say radical reform is needed. Typical UK household has a disposable income of around £32,000 a year, adjusted for tax and inflation. By contrast, the typical French household is almost £3,000 a year better off. The typical German household, almost £6,500 richer. And the typical American household, £20,000 a year better off. The picture for lower income households is just as depressing. And over the last 15 years, the gap between us and them has got wider. Politicians and policymakers are not getting serious about the scale of the problem and the challenges the UK economy faces. They talk about world beating this and world beating that. Instead, they need to get real and think about how they work where we are now. Oh, listen, I think a lot of people watching this like... You know, I was, when I heard it today, will be really shocked by these figures. What are Germany and France doing right that we're not? Well, I mean, the, the, the Resolution Foundation, first of all, talks about us, uh, our economic decline in relative terms, relative to countries we like to compare ourselves to, as you point out. The Chancellor doesn't accept this. He disagrees. He was today talking up all of our undoubted strengths as a nation and also pointing out that there are quite a few countries that are struggling with economic growth. But there are several ways, Tom, to grow an economy. Economies grow when there are simply more people in the economy producing stuff. They grow when people are working longer hours mm. and producing more stuff. But neither of those forms of growth necessarily leave people better off. What matters in terms of living standards is higher productivity, producing more, more efficiently. That's what leads to higher pay. And it's true that several countries have, oh, mm. a lot of countries have had weak productivity growth uh, since 2008, but in the UK it has been very weak. Now, a general election is around the corner. We've got all the political parties telling us they've got ideas about how to raise growth and productivity. But what the Resolution Foundation is saying, none of them is being bold enough. We need something really transformative, really that's going to twist the dial. They want to see public investment raised to 3% of GDP, twice the run rate of the last 40 years in the UK, Tom. They want to see 20-year growth plans for Manchester and for Birmingham, an overhaul of the planning laws, making developments harder to oppose. This sort of change requires a lot of money, requires higher taxes. You can see why uh, politicians are reticent, but the glittering prize here is growth after 15 years of going nowhere.